guys, so really quick, I just want to update you on what's going on online. All right, for the chronically people that are online like me, okay? So the drama is with the Mr. Beast guy. Look how many products I have in the back. Like, sponsorship where? Sponsorship who? Like, bro. The amount of, like, this is crazy. Anyway. So Ava Chris Tyson worked with Mr. Beast. I mean, obviously not now, but basically they recently came out as transgender. All right, so this is how it all started. This is a big deal that they are transgender because people love to like just oh if someone's transgender and they do something wrong all the transphobic people come out and just see like they're trans they're weird like they're doing weirdo stuff okay and then pile on so like transphobic people love when something like this happens you know just like when racist people love when like a black person does something it's like you pile onto that but just because you already don't like somebody so that's why it's like 10 times i feel like ava's getting even more backlash you know because all those like transphobic people are gonna come for them too and it's an excuse to be transphobic let's be real the sad thing about this you guys is that like people love to say like the lgbtq community is like you know predators and stuff and like that's why you know a lot of people like to come forward too and say like see like the gays are weird they're weird see they're always weird you know and that's super like that's just not right because there's a lot of gay people that are just gay and they're not weird okay they're some people just so happen to be gay and weird okay those are the weirdos not just because you're gay you're weird like you have to do a weird action for you to be a weirdo weirdo and like being gay is not like weird like that's not what makes you weird it's weird when you like children you know what i mean like if they're of age what's like and that's not you what's wrong with it like it's just if it doesn't have anything to do with my life and it's not affecting like a child's life or doing anybody else wrong then i don't really care if it's not affecting other people then i don't really care so yes so a bunch of allegations basically came out on ava chris tyson and i just want to say just because one person in a certain community does something doesn't mean they represent the whole community like you know what i mean like we need to like separate the two it's not like if one black person does something that they're all like that or like an asian does something they're all like that us light skins do something we're all like that like what there can be another weirdo light skin and that just so happens to be weirdo i'm not weird just because i'm light skin like you know what i'm saying like it's just people need to like separate that like stop grouping people together like we're all different and we're all different this tweet from drama alert uh chris tyson from so ava chris tyson so I'm just going to say Ava. Ava from Mr. Beast is being accused of talking to minors. Two videos over the last 30 days outline an alleged um, sexually inappropriate relationship with a minor that started with the minor at the age of 13 with plans to meet up with the same minor at age 16. Uh, Chris Tyson, who goes by Ava, Ava, Chris Tyson, um, has yet to respond to the allegations. Okay, so apparently she did write an apology. So she put this statement out. Ava Chris Tyson wrote, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it is hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best that I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations at Lava GS has vocally supported that they are false. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a, f create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I've learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. And then we go on and it is a tweet from Ava, uh, but not $5, pathetic, JK. And then Lava GS says, wait till my Twitch revenue comes in. And then we see the photos right here. Okay, and then there is another one. Uh, Chris Tyson allegedly joking about selling nudes with minors, according to YouTuber, again, Ava Chris Tyson. This guy is that young, and you've been talking to him one-on-one -on -one online, and you've been socializing with him and making friends. What is this comment supposed to mean? 
I'll tell you what it means. It means that you are telling him that he needs to donate five dollars so you can release your nudes or whatever, and you sent him a kissy face. Now, granted, you could say that this is a joke or whatever, this is bro talk, but keep in mind, this is with someone who's like, who's 14, and this is someone who's in college talking to like someone that isn't even in high school yet, really. Or, or if he was in high school, he, might, he just joined it. Um, oh boy, because well, what, what, what I'm seeing here is, he says, wait till my Twitch revenue comes in, winky face. So you're sending kissy faces, he's sending you a winky face, and the premise is you're trying to give him enough money so you can get his nudes. Already re really weird, considering the fact that this is one of your online friends and this, this massive age difference. And of course, it continues. He says, check again, and he, he tags you, I think. At least that must be you, or he's tagging you. And of course, he says, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. And this is someone that you're talking to that is 14 years old, that you know is 14. And at the end of the day, you cannot be talking about topics like this with someone that is this young. Okay, and then we continue. We see the message from Ava Chris Tyson that says, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. After Lava said, check again. Um, no, the only thing that is like really confusing me in all of this is, okay, so this person, Lava GS, said, these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you please do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? The situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. I'm not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos at all. This one's interesting because the victim that's involved in the situation wasn't even the one that came out about it. And they're actually like, you need to stop calling me a victim. You need to stop calling me a victim. So, you know, but what Ava did was weird and was not right, you know? But the victim's not even like, no, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's an awkward situation. And the guy that came out and, like, kind of outed, you know, Mr. Beast's friend kind of stepped out of line. Like, that wasn't even his place to say something. But, I don't know, now we know that there's a weirdo out there, you know what I mean? Basically, there was a power dynamic because obviously the fan that was talking was a fan, was a fan, and there's a power dynamic, and they were a minor, so you're having conversations with a minor that's a fan, and you're, like, that's, that is weird, like, you don't keep a relationship type of thing going on with a fan where you just keep talking every day, like, it is odd, and also it wasn't just talking, it's not like talking relationship, it's like sexual jokes like sexual conversations you know with a minor so it's not even like even just talking with a minor is kind of weird like having a back and forth like continuing but then to make sexual jokes and whatever in there too weird i think we all can agree that's weird it's not looking good especially when your boss has to issue a statement over the last few days i've become aware of the serious allegations of ava tyson's behavior online and i'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts Ooh, you guys know mr beast plays it safe so if he's making this kind of statement it's not good during that time i've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure i have all the facts that's because ava knows way too much about mr beast he continues that being said i've seen enough online and take immediate action to remove ava from the company my channel and any association with mr beast i do not condone or support the inappropriate actions which i believe ava prior to transitioning like had a baby was married like had a very different life so this is very like i don't know that's a roller coaster effect i will allow the independent investigators to necessary the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further action based on their findings Ooh, a discord screenshot of a certain joke that was made by ava and sent to the minor uh when the minor i guess was only 15 in 2019. when this guy was really young he won some sort of competition or was involved 
and he DM'd Mr. Beast on Twitter and got sent a knife signed by Mr. Beast. He was like 12 or something. So I guess it's one thing for Lava to win the challenge, and that's the reason why they get into contact with him. But like after that, there shouldn't be any like connection. Chris on March 26, 2018, put out a tweet and he said, I really enjoy playing Fortnite. Would you guys want to watch me stream? And then he put up a poll and then Lava responds and he says, please stream again in all caps. Chris responds, thanks dad. You want to moderate it? Like, yeah, I really shouldn't have to tell you why this is weird given the ages, but just why. So this is a big deal for Mr. Beast because Mr. Beast is a huge content creator on YouTube, like the, the biggest actually. And like, basically, they're kind of alleging that the whole reason why Ava got in contact with some of these people was because of Mr. Beast and like they're fans, right? And like she's mr beast's right hand like right hand girl <laughs> so you know she's using her power like with the fan dynamic to keep in contact with these people that like want something that's what that basically just said you know that's weird so that makes mr beast look bad so he was right for cutting her off and like just you know that's the really only thing he can do um People want to, like, say he, Mr. Beast is getting canceled, oh, this affects him. But it's, like, people are also saying, like, he knew. He knew she was, like, like this, and he still kept her around. So, I mean, we can't say for sure, but he is cutting her off now. Like, you know, he's not. He's like, well, you were weird. Like, we can't be a part of the company anymore. And, like, if he, if Mr. Beast hasn't directly done anything, I don't think you can really cancel him. You know, unless he had, like, something to do with it. So, now there's a whole investigation. Mr. Beast said he's going to hire people to investigate, too. Because, obviously, her being his right-hand right hand woman, she's going to know things. You know what I'm saying? She's going to know something, like, that you don't want. Like, she's going to know a lot, right? So, you don't want to just cut off somebody that knows so much about you. So, I don't know. This ain't true. And this screenshot is... Chris Tyson talking one-on-one -on -one with him. He would have been 16. Here is the picture of them meeting up together. I'm going to censor his face. And as you can see right there, there, there's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. Chris Tyson was talking to this guy since he was 13. Chris Tyson was in college. The moment he was able to drive, he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods. Which, by the way, very secluded area. Anytime that someone is taking a camper van somewhere. So the real question is, if he was talking to Chris Tyson, who was interested in both men and women, since he was 13 years old and Chris Tyson was in college, why did he take a camper van out to see him and take it out in the middle of the woods in this secluded area? And then he met up with him like two days later, like like the picture was posted. Playing around with this person Lava, like wait until my Twitch revenue comes in. Uh, talking about uh, $5 for some news. This guy is that young and you've been talking to him one-on-one -on -one online and you've been socializing with him and making friends. What is this comment supposed to mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that you're telling him that he needs to donate $5 so you can release your nudes or whatever. And of course he says, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. And this is someone that you're talking to that is 14 years old, that you know is 14. And at the end of the day, you cannot be talking about topics like this with someone that is this young. This video really has caused some problems for Mr. Beast. Everyone's been talking about this. So even this guy named Sneeko, he's a streamer. He's like very online. Um, I'm not really into the Twitch area like area but i know them like i know all the twitch streamers like the big ones at least like i don't like watch twitch because like i like a structured video they just are live streaming but even he said something that he used to work for mr beast and this is what he heard allegedly i remember chris saying that bad baby catch me outside when i was working for mr Beast, like in that time in 2017 2018 i remember chris saying like isn't she hot isn't like catch me outside girl she like isn't she like 14 is she 14 years old? Yeah, it's jailbait. And I'm like, what? I had never heard somebody say that. That was the first time where somebody unironically said that. It's like, that's gotta be from somebody who was watching anime, was watching all that stuff, was, was chronically online. That, to have that terminology, to communicate that. And then when it, um, it ends up that this guy becomes a woman, I'm like, that, it makes sense. Basically, you know how the internet is. Once one thing comes out, it just trickles down where a bunch of things come out. So. There's this TikToker who also came out and said that he enjoys lolly content. I never heard about this before because I'm not a weirdo. But uh, this is what the TikToker said. Of course, they're misgendering her because, you know, she used to be a man. But, I mean, some people believe, like, you know, if you're a weirdo, you don't deserve respect. So no one's going to respect your pronouns. So, I mean, it's not me, but whatever. Here's the video. He openly stated that he loves lolly content. 
And if you don't know what Wally content is, it's, it's a, basically a form of art that is involving children that children shouldn't be doing. So take what you want from that. I mean, we all know what that is. He also openly stated that he supports this one content creator, Shadman, that makes the same content as Lolly. Um, except it is way worse um, because Shadman basically made a fan fiction of Keemstar's seven-year-old daughter sucking off Donald Trump. He also said that he would support Shadman financially to keep on making that type of content. The problem here is that the person named Lava is the one that, like, is technically everyone saying is being groomed and the one that like you know had like the messages back and forth with Ava now lava person is basically like the victim like lava the victim and I say victim because they are saying they are not a victim but they're still young right so this, maybe they'll realize like when they're older like wow that was weird or maybe they're just so much of a fan that they just don't want to ever, like, you know, like, you don't want to speak against someone that you're, like, a fan of. So, now that it's come out, everyone's like, okay, hey, that is so weird. But the lava person is just like, no, like, I'm not a victim. Like, I hate the videos that are coming out. I love them. Like, so it's kind of like, you know? And it's their story to tell. Like, they're the victims, so they're the ones that are supposed to come forward. But, like, they weren't it was like that other person that just exposed it so this is a weird situation because it's not like the victim where how it usually is like the victim that comes out so it's like weird but it's still weird behavior regardless that's weirdo weirdo behavior so ava tyson was an adult at this point lava was a child and saying things like i posted some fire nudes for you please no share and then other shit like but not five dollars pathetic jk kissy face they seem to communicate a lot, even sending Snapchats. So here's one that says coming for America and then goes on to talk about being in a group chat and everything. And I've seen a lot of people try and cope and deflect saying like, oh, it's just edgy jokes. People are blowing this out of proportion. What a bunch of fucking nonsense. That's a, that's a load of hooey. That's dirty barnacles. That, that's ridiculous. And it was also revealed that Ava Tyson had a history of being a Shadman enthusiast. Since all of the tweets have been deleted, it makes it very difficult to find the times that they communicated with Shadman or talked about Shadman and the art. But I did find this from Mudahar's video, who went to the Wayback Machine and showcased this tweet. And Mudahar censored it because the character does not appear to be over the age of 18. For those of you that know that name, that might have just triggered a Winter Soldier moment in your brain with your eyes rolling into the back of your skull, because it is so foul. Shadman was an artist who drew child porn. Now, when you hear that, a lot of people think that you're talking about lolly or lolly hentai type shit, which is uh, characters that look like little girls but are actually 5,000-year-old vampires. Like, that's the, the meme. Fucking sipping from their Mountain Dew going, ugh, uncultured swine. You see, it's not actually a real child. This is a victimless crime. This may look like a four-year-old girl, but you don't understand the lore. She's actually coming from a sophisticated line of goblin ogres, and she is over 400 years old. So it's completely legal, and you're weird for thinking that it's weird. But with Shadman, he wasn't drawing lolly. He was drawing real children sexually. So, one of the most infamous cases was when he drew Keemstar's eight-year-old daughter in a pornographic setting. That actual fucking lunatic drew porn of an eight-year-old girl. That's not hearsay or anything, that is something that actually happened. So, anyway, Ava Tyson has publicly tweeted about Lolly. And, in particular, there are tweets of Ava Tyson talking either to or about Shadman. A lot, a lot of the tweets are gone now because the Twitter account has been nuked, but there are archives of a lot of them. My first time hearing about that lolly shit, that anime shit, like, the fact that it's like, oh, it's not really a young age girl, it's like a really old vampire. Bro, you're weird. I don't care what your excuse is, you're a weirdo. Weird. And then, so, like, this was so surprising, like, the whole thing like this this person is clearly a weirdo okay we can all agree he's a weirdo so honestly the best thing for mr beast to do was just distance uh it's just like a big big story because mr beast is so big it's like your right hand girl over there is a weirdo so are you a weirdo like are you a weirdo so now everyone's looking at mr beast like bro 
you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you never know. Because if they're weirdo, who knows? Like, you know stuff about them. Like, they're not telling you. Like, you didn't realize he was a weirdo? Or, sorry, she... Oh, <laughs> my